For the Havilland enthusiast, this is the airplane you want to have. This is a very rare airplane. You know, it's an airplane that broke just about every record in Europe during the uh, 20s and 30s. This is a 1928 Gypsy Moth, uh, made in England. Back in 1928, we weren't manufacturing uh, Gypsy Moths in the United States, so the English wanted to sell airplanes here. They set up a dealership in Lowell, Massachusetts. This airplane was purchased from that dealership in Lowell, Massachusetts. I bought the project in 2014 and then um, went up to Canada with a big box truck, got everything, drove it back, and I've uh, been working on it ever since. This is what we acquired when I purchased the project. It's all in a U-Haul truck. This is the original cockpit combing part of the fuselage. The wings are in here. It's a lot of problem solving, a lot of research they have to do. My goal was to replicate the original airplane. I didn't want to modify it, and I didn't want to add anything to it. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. The only real modification is the brakes. It came with a Canadian braking system. Now, originally, de Havilland never put brakes on a Gypsy Moth, and they wouldn't put a tail wheel on it either. So originally this airplane would have came with no brakes and a skid on the tail. But I did get a lot of help from my uh, friends. Uh, one of them, Mike Frone, who's here today. Michael's the restorer. I'm just here for the help and the, you know, the humor. Another friend of mine, Mike Traficante, who helped me cover the wings. And my wife did a lot of work on the airplane too. She made the uh, cockpit covers by, from scratch, and she also did some interior work. So here we are at the front of the airplane. This, is this, uh, this spinner was made from uh, four laminations of mahogany. The grain has been crisscrossed so that it uh, adds strength to it. This is a spinner that would have been on the original airplane. This propeller, is an original propeller designed by de Havilland, made by the uh, Air School Company. This is an accurate decal right here. As you can see here, they even give you uh, instructions on how to start the airplane. Also instructions are down here on how to fold the wings, and the wings fold back under the tail. Okay, some interesting features about this airplane are exposed rudder and elevator cables. This cable, these cables are actually original cables. They're braided on the ends. And right here is a tag. This would be an inspection tag by the uh, person who made the cable, which you decided to keep. You notice that the uh, thimbles are brass. They're not uh, steel or stainless. And you can see here these uh, machined, uh, not just ordinary bolts, but machine fittings to operate the rudder. It just feels amazing to have it here. It, it was a long trek getting here. Uh, everybody's been so nice to me and every, they seem very interested in the airplane and the history of it. One of the things that is important to me is to promote the history of it, not just the airplane itself, but the aviation history. So this is, this is an original of the Gypsy Moth Manual. It has rigging instructions. You can almost build an airplane from this book. And that seems to be, you know, what everybody wants to hear here at, here at Oshkosh. So it's, it's been terrific and it just keeps getting better.